Hi everyone. So today I'm going to just deal with SolidWorks scam. So let me just brief over the procedures which I'm going to follow. So in this I'm going to just modify the operations uh, for a particular uh, operation that is facing. So for that operation I'm going to change the tool and the view of the operation parameters like this. Well, mm, and in that I just need to check whether the operations which I have mentioned here are uh, matching with the extracted features or not. So we'll do that and here this is the model so on which I'm going to operate the cam operations. So now from feature manager design tree I'll just switch to solve cam features and here let me just define the machine first just double click on it and select the machine so metric I'm going to define and the post processor is uh, a chromatic 2100 I'll select it okay and uh, again in this uh, let me just show you in the tool crib uh, I think uh, the tool is uh, not available okay let me just uh, deal that one later yeah, once you define the uh, machine, the next step is to define the stock material. So here you can select the material which you require. Once you define it, uh, you can select the top type here. So I'm going to deal with this bonding box. So bonding box, in the sense uh, the uh, material will be covered on entire portion like this by just creating the block on your model so you can just select the sketch you can just create an extruded rectangular uh, sketch and you can extrude it up to how much you want stl files you can select and otherwise you can directly select the part fine so that is your bash so right now i'm going to deal with this spawning box and here i just want to deal with the operation means the facing operation this much extra material i want to remove so for that i'll define 10 mm extra uh, material so that I can operate the facing operation right so you just uh, can see how it works before it was like this I just added extra material we're just uh, defining the uh, parameter along uh, side direction you can see here like this so once you define the machine as well as the post processor type you need to extract the machinable features uh, then uh, we need to check this op op uh, operation uh, let me just do that uh, add 10 mm extra thickness here not both the side Only long upper side, yes, it's done. I have defined it uh, in the corner system. You can just select the uh, uh, stop bonding box. When you do that, you can enable to define it, otherwise, you can use other options. So, once that is done, in the options, you can modify mill features. Here, you can select feature types which you actually want to operate. So, if you want to just deal with facing and power parameter not about these holes and all you can uncheck this anyway I'm, I don't have any holes over there I can uncheck that just click on ok ok once you define this uh, I need to extract the machinable features you can select extract machinable features from here if it is available otherwise you can just select tools and solve it scan select this extract machinable features I'm going uh, I'm using uh, solid scan premium I think so uh, cam standard version have the proper uh, basic uh, interface so there you can just directly deal with the tools and the facing operation finish and rough finish rough finish that is fine so as you can compare with the parameters so once that is done i need to generate the operation plan i'll do that right click on it and select generate operation so once you do uh, i have already added extra material thickness for that the facing operation got selected so for that I need to modify the tool as well as some of the operations so as you can see it is 50 mm face mill is selected for this I am going to define the tool as well as see some operations I am going to modify in the operation parameters the tools let me just deal with the tool crib and 
only 50 mm face mill is available here so in this tool cream i'm going to add from library i'll select it so after adding this 100 mm face mill step over as well as uh, side offset and maximum side of crest offset is 40 50 and the first cut and max cut amount is 4 mm i'll just add them to I'll select add face mill from here 100 mm face mill I'll select it let will click ok once you select it it will be added here you can just select that one and just select here the tool will, uh, will show this warning do you want to replace yes I want to in the facing operations I need to define this uh, side offset 40 percent here 50 percent if you want to check this you can define the uh, values in millimeters and here the first cut and max cut amount is 4 mm for me i'll just add it and the cut method is climb i got select uh, i just selected that one before it's automatically got selected once you define it if you just want to run this face milling only you just right click on this face mill and select this generated tool part to just generate the tool part for only face milling so you can just simulate it to check whether it is working fine or not can see this is how it works so now uh, my requirement is I just want to uh, add the clamping so that is a uh, fixtures so over there I just added the fixtures and that portion it should not uh, remove the material it should avoid that region so for that I'm going to add the void region avoid region so just right click on the facing and you can select uh, just a minute you can select this add new avoid region and i don't have multiple sketches got selected here you can select from here multiple sketches it will show here you can select that one and let's select up to stock so if you select direction up to stock the software will define the thickness Selected. I just added the void region, and you can see the software automatically updated that feature. No need to again uh, repeat or update the things. And over there, I can see that portion got just placed like that. No need to worry. So, this is done. So, next thing is I just need to add one more uh, operation in this that is this. Whatever the text is there, I just want to engrave on this face. So for that, I will define the 2.5 axis feature. In this type, you can select engrave feature. So for this engrave feature, I will just select my own text, this one. And in the end condition, I am going to just deal thickness. That is, a random thickness, I am going to add the strategies engraving. Okay. Just click on OK. So I'll right click on it and I'll select generate operation plan. As you can see, once I do that, even though it is not generating the operation plan, this is because the software uh, uh, doesn't recognize the tool. So why? Because in this uh, tool metric, uh, it is not defined, means the tool is not added. So for that, you can just double click on it. And here you can check there is no tool which is required for engraving feature so that tool is 0 0.25 30 degree ball and peak tap but it is not there so i'm going to add this tool so you can add the tool by just selecting this option add tool and you can select from this type you can select ball and tapered so this one is my required tool i'll just add it I'll click ok Once you add that, 
टू एनी वे इफ यू जनरेट दी ऑपरेशन प्लान नाउ यू गेट दिस टूल विच इज एडेड टू दैट ऑपरेशन एंड दीज आर दी रिक्वायर्ड ऑपरेशन पैरामीटर्स फॉर माई टूल एंड आई रेड एंड आई जनरेट दी टूल पार्ट फॉर दिस ऑपरेशन सो राइट नाउ यू कैन सी द टूल कॉट एडेड ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी डिग्री बॉल पिंग let it fetch for this uh, here i just need to deal with these parameters so that is the thickness how much i have added that should be cut with this maximum and first cut amount only one in one go it should be all the material not i just don't want to uh, run the tool path again and again for this You can see once it's simulated, get to know how it works. Yeah, this is about how we can modify our uh, 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 features as well as how to deal with the void regions and how to engrave the text on the particular uh, operation or face. So sometimes you get that uh, you won't able to generate the operation plan. That time you need to Thing or you need to see that whether the tool got added or not for this operation. You can just select that tool and you can add it over there. And you can work on it. So this is all about uh, SolidWorks uh, CAM operations. So how to modify and all. So I think this might help you. Please do support our channel. Thank you for watching.